It is 824 in Morning Live. Thanks for joining us. It's estimated that one in 20 adults suffer from obstructive sleep apnea. In many cases, the treatment is uh, more uncomfortable than the condition. Uh, registered uh, respiratory therapist Shane, Shane Walsh of Medigas, though, has us with some, uh, there's been great advances just in terms of the technologies available to alleviate this. Thanks for joining us, Shane. Oh, my pleasure, my pleasure. Thank we'll you. We'll get the website up on screen. It's medigas.com. Uh, um, and we'll get to these products in a second. But just as a backgrounder, because it, with obstructive sleep apnea, it's actually quite amazing that many people may have it and unless they have a partner seeing the symptoms like the snoring or maybe feeling it and not realizing you know the effects can come later in the day because you didn't get the proper amount of sleep correct yes absolutely it's it's one of those things where the the person that has it doesn't really know they have it it's usually those those stories around the table that you snore enormously or mm -hmm. um, there's gasps in breathing and we notice that you're not breathing they usually bring this to light and again it's you know partial closures closures of the upper airway that uh, lead to you know interrupted, uh, interruptions in sleep. Right, uh, and yes, uh, snoring can happen, but of course with the, that light level of sleep, you know certainly symptoms will be affected later in the day. We mentioned off the top, you know sometimes the uh, solution can be more uncomfortable, but there's been great advances here, and yes. you have uh, the, the CPAP yes. um, solution here. Uh, certainly is a solution and there's they can be modified to make it a, a comfortable experience correct and an important one too it's yeah. got to be I mean many people are prescribed with this yes and, and CPAP is continuous positive airway pressure so it's basically a tiny blower that uh, blows air in through the in through the tube into the mask which the masks are variable based on the type of person that comes in because right. it's quite variable right and that's set in a sleep lab so you would go in for an overnight study yeah uh, and they would prescribe the pressure for you based on how severe you are mm-hmm yeah so uh, I mean can you give us a number just in terms of how many people uh, suffering sl from sleep apnea sure. would actually need to go this route well uh, it, it's it really is uh, underdiagnosed. There's about 4% of males and 2% of females in Canada have sleep apnea, and a large portion of them are underdiagnosed. The beautiful thing about Ontario is that lucky Ontarians is that we have the largest number of sleep labs in the world mm -hmm. per capita. So it, we're, the opportunity is there to get in to have that sleep study done, um, and uh, it, it is quite fast. Yeah, so certainly we encourage, I mean, if, if you think you may have it, I mean, you know, of course it can be uh, single individuals who are just feeling run down and yeah. not realizing that they actually have this condition. It is amazing, too, because the interruptions in breathing can actually be uh, in seconds, but quite lengthy. It's yes. amazing that, um, I guess the, you were saying, we were talking about this uh, earlier, the brain has a choice that you're going to sleep or you're going to wake up from this Correct. and choose to sleep in, in many people, but it's amazing with that kind of obstruction that you can sleep through it. Yeah, and there are huge swings in blood pressure and heart rate as well, and that's why uh, the linkages to uh, to get obstructive sleep apnea corrected and treated is, is important because yeah. you can end up with congestive heart failure, uh, strokes, high blood pressure, and again, it's all related to that, oh, yeah. you, you know, I just snore at night. So, yeah. these so let's get a closer sure. look at uh, the devices here. Sure, so these masks, again, vary ba generally on the person that comes in. Some people prefer to have the mask go around the, around the nose and not the mouth. Mm -hmm. Some people can't tolerate the pressure points, so mm -hmm. they'll go with something that goes inside the nose very much. Uh, you know, just in the outside and air, not not really that uncomfortable, but some people do tolerate that quite well. Mm -hmm. And then the other one is uh, it goes over the mouth and nose, and typically we see this in folks with much much higher pressures. And the pressure that's prescribed is based on the severity of the mm -hmm. sleep apnea that you have. The more tissue that we have to move out of the way with the machine, right, the higher the pressure. Right, but uh, lots of options available, regardless, you know, in terms of uh, preferences, but Correct. also needs as well. Correct. So now this would go in the nightstand, obviously. It, it would, and, and if you can imagine, these used to be the size of microwaves. Oh, really? Uh, eight, eight, ten years ago, these were quite large. Yeah, sit on the beds. I can imagine. Mm -hmm. Very, very loud. Now they're quite compact. You can see this one over here is is very small. And if you were uh, made for travel, and they have a detachable humidifier, and they both do that. Uh, one comes with an MP3 player. The the design. <laughs> The, des the, the design is to, to, to make sure that it doesn't look like an appliance or device sitting on your bedside yeah. table. You could be mistaken for a clock radio. And that's kind of the perception that some people like to have. Right. Now, in terms of uh, costs and insurance and... Sure. In, in, in Ontario, uh, a CPAP will cost you $1,040, of which the Ministry of Health, uh, ADPs, the Assistive Devices Program, which is a branch of the Ministry of Health, will pay seven, $780. Okay. So the remainder of that portion is usually picked up by private insurance or the individual right. themselves. And again, yeah. it can be tailored. So there's lots of... Uh, uh, applications that you can put on this. We have hunters come in, mm -hmm. uh, boaters for DC adapters, all of those different appliances that you can configure with a machine, it mm -hmm. can be done. A camouflage version for the hunting crew. You actually can get a camouflage <laughs> headgear. <laughs> yes. I mean, there you it, go. It's not the sexiest thing you can have in the bedroom, but it'll keep you alive. Yeah. <laughs> it would look cool, actually. But, it, you know, it is extremely important. Yes. Yeah. Hey, thanks for the great information. So there is the website again. Uh, for more information online, metagas.com. Thank you, Shane. My pleasure. Okay. Uh, the news at 830 is right around the corner as we continue with more Morning Live.